Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for the next instalment of Heart Week. Wow, where did that come from? Who do I think I am? Part of Glee? Yeah, I'm super excited to be bringing you guys another video. We're trying out another shop. This one is an online store that I used to shop at a lot, but I just have stopped lately and I don't know why. So I wanted to give them another go today. I'm gonna be linking all of the items that I mentioned in the description box below, as well as this dress, which I'm newly obsessed with. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it's coming up if not. Um, it's from Topshop, I honestly love it. It's this gorgeous little floral dress. So I'm gonna drop a link to this below because I think some of you guys might wanna check it out. But today we are testing out Misguided. I went on their website, I bought a lot of this stuff. Um, I actually bought a lot because I just wanted to try everything out on the site and I haven't shopped with them in so so long that I thought you know what let's really give this a good old go um so I will drop links to all of the misguided bits that I found if you're not already subscribed to my channel then please go ahead hit subscribe turn the bell on if you want to be notified when I upload on this channel particularly this week because it is a whole week and I'm uploading a video every single day so yeah if you want to kind of know when those uploads are coming at you and you want to see what I'm buying then I'd recommend turning the little bell on also if you want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram I'm going to leave that in my description box and it's just georgia may underscore xoxo but i would really appreciate a follow over on ig so that is enough of me talking i am very very excited to get into all of the goodies and try them out so yeah let's just get into the try on portion of this video okay guys so we have everything in here from shoes to clothes you name it your girl picked it up so i'm literally just going to tear into this let's start with a bit of yellow oh this looks so nice Okay guys, so the first dress is this little yellow dress. How nice does this look? I'm so impressed. I'm a little bit worried. I did get this in a 10. The dress I've got on right now is in a 10. Um, you guys know sometimes I'm a 10, sometimes I'm a 12. The thing that's worrying me about this is the length. Like it looks very, very short, but it is a gorgeous yellow color. Like it's the perfect kind of lemon. Off the shoulder, Bardo style top. Quality feels lovely on this like genuinely really nice it's all double lined so i'm gonna go and throw this on and we can see what we're thinking okay guys yes 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 i am in love with this dress it's absolutely gorgeous but it is short it is so so short i'll obviously show you guys the full length of it on me i'm gonna have to order this in a 12 even then i'm worried on the length it is so nice i literally am in love with it it's a le gorgeous lemon color i love the way this bit looks here i just think it's so pretty like i would wear this with sandals i'd wear this with a wedge on holiday flip flop sliders i'd wear it in england with a denim jacket and trainers like i wear things like this all the time and i'm so impressed with this dress my only concern is that it's going to be out of stock but i am so impressed with it like misguided have done so so well on this one i think it looks really really pretty not too sure of the price of this but i will list it below i just think it looks like a little kind of almost like free people vibes something a lot more expensive um so i will share with you guys the full length this is the full length of the little lemon dress the shape of this is just perfect so perfect if you have my body type where you want to accentuate your waist it's honestly such a great little shape i am completely in love with this dress i think it's absolutely gorgeous but it is just far too short like it really is just way too short at the back i could not keep this and feel comfortable in it so i am gonna have to go and get the uk 12 i just hope it isn't big elsewhere because it would be a little bit too big if it was big elsewhere but this fits so nicely here like i love what it's doing for my waist i love what it's doing for the boobies i'm really really vibing it so this is amazing from misguided this is restoring my faith in misguided guys i haven't shopped with them in so long and i'm already so impressed with the first item so this is a thumbs up 100 from me okay guys so the next thing i have here is this kind of cape style blazer dress really needs an iron the quality feels really lovely on this it was really really nice and thick i grabbed this in a uk 10 i just like the kind of idea of this i thought it'd be lovely on holiday with a lovely tan i'm actually going to marbella with some of my friends i thought it'd be perfect so i'm gonna throw this on and we can see what we think i feel like this is one of the more expensive items in this haul video retailing for either 40 or 50 pounds i can't remember exactly but i will drop a link to it below so you guys can see the price okay guys so i've popped on the cape style dress i'm really 
not sure about this i'd love to see what you guys think on this so first things first i'd probably wear a lace bodysuit just because it is so low here or i would add a little stitch or something um but yeah that's the first thing the second thing is i'm not sure about this cape thing like do i look like a superhero you know going to save people like i feel like a superhero like if i walked quickly the cape would Okay, you guys cannot see what I'm doing and I just look absolutely mental. But the cape would blow in the wind. So it definitely is kind of superhero vibes. Oh, I'm kind of loving it. I feel really dramatic. This is a UK 10 and it's pulling a tiny bit on my legs. I will pan you down so you can see a bit better. I hope you guys can see over there. I love the blazer fit here. I think it's really, really lovely, actually. Um, I do really like that. It's really good quality, guys. This is double lined. It's not see-through, um, which I know is kind of a big question with these online websites, if the stuff is see-through or not. This one in particular is not, and it's white, so that's amazing. Um, I'm not sure, like, is it just pulling too much there? I feel like it is pulling just a little bit too much here on my thighs, which is so sad, um, because I feel like if I got the UK 12, it would be way too big around my waist and definitely up top. So I'm really upset that it's a little bit small on my legs. I always have these issues, guys. Is it too small for me to get away with it? Also, what do we think of the cape aspect of this dress? Is it a no-go? Is it a... I know some people love this and some people really don't. I feel like it is quite different. Um, if you had a really lovely tan and maybe some lace-up kind of white shoes, like crisscross nude shoes, that could look gorgeous. This is one of the items I am really unsure about what I think. I actually don't know what I think on this. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this because um, I do like the concept and the idea. I'm just not sure about the reality on me. I just feel very theatrical. I feel like I'm in Avengers or something or The Incredibles, you know? Oh my God, it is fun. It is fun though, like look, it really does like blow in the wind. Oh my gosh, I'm finding it so much fun. Look at me. Ooh, oh my God, there's a load of builders over there and they're gonna think I'm crazy. But this, I like this little cape. But no, in all seriousness, would it be better just as a blazer dress without the cape? Like, does that look better? I'm not sure. Okay, guys, the next thing is a little co-ord. Um, I actually bought this in mind for a trip that I'm no longer going on. But I can wear this in Mykonos, so it's all good. We're fine. Um, but that was the intent of this, so I'm very, very, very intrigued. I thought this looked so nice on the misguided website. Like, honestly, so, so nice. This is probably the thing that I'm most excited for in this video. It essentially is a little shorts and lacy crop top set. This is what I would typically wear over the top of a swimsuit. Um, I just think these shorts look beautiful with the eyelash lace. To me, again, giving me free people vibes, just boho, just really like a little boutique shop rather than misguided. So I'm very interested in how this little cold is going to look. Um, I'm actually going to pop on a bikini and then I'll put this on pop. I will throw this on over the top. <laughs> misguided, you are killing it. Like, honestly, this has been one of the best... This has been one of the best shops to go for. Like, honestly, misguided, I'm so impressed. So I have thrown this on just over my bra and underwear. Obviously, this would be worn as like a swimsuit cover up, so I would not wear it like this. But I wanted to just share it with you guys. Um, I am completely in love with this. I hope this is still on the website. They also do this in a lilac. So if you're not into the nude, if maybe it's a bit too lingerie-esque for you, I will link the lavender set as well because that looks gorgeous. I just think in Mykonos, this is the perfect kind of thing. It reminds me of Mykonos. The white, the lace, all of that good stuff. So this is the crop top and it basically has this little tie. And I just, I really, really love this. I almost think, could you get away with this in England with some high rise jeans and a little strappy heel and a blazer, maybe a wet blazer. I don't know, have I gone too far? But I think it's bloody gorgeous. And to go with the gorgeous little crop are these shorts. I did grab these shorts in a 12, which I'm really happy about because if I'd gone for the 10, it would have been not a good idea. I love the way they sit quite high up. For me, that's a lot more flattering. Um, I love the way they just kind of float at the bottom so they're not skin, skin tight. I am so in love with this whole little set over, over like an orange bikini, a pink bikini, something with a pop of color. Oh my gosh, guys, honestly, I really, really love this. They also did a maxi skirt that had like splits up the side. It looked lovely. So if I can link that, I will, because some of you might prefer a skirt rather than shorts, which I feel you, shorts are not my typical vibe, but I think 
by the pool or by the beach, I would feel really comfortable on this. Quality is so, so lovely. Hope you can see all of the lace detailing down the sleeves along here. Miss Guided has like come through, seriously come through so well. I have not shot with them in so long and I am so impressed. Like I've been missing out on Miss Guided for a while if this is what their stuff's been like lately. The quality has been so, so good. Okay, so this next thing is something I'm so interested in. You guys know how much I adore blazer dresses. It's pretty much what I wear throughout the winter, the summer, the spring. I wear them all the time. You can wear them with jeans. You can wear them on their own. You can wear them in the day, open with like cycling shorts that I just, for me, they're like a massive part of my wardrobe. And I saw this colored blazer and I was just like, I've never ever seen like a lilac lavender blazer. I think it looks so nice. So I grabbed this in a 10. We'll have to see if the 10 is gonna work for me. The color is amazing. And then it basically comes with this belt that you would use to cinch your waist in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on and see what we think. So I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble because the whole point of this was to keep like one item from each shop. And I am in love with this blazer. Like. I'm a, I am obsessed with this blazer. Okay, so this is the Lavender Lilac blazer and do you know what guys? This is probably one of the best blazers I've ever, ever tried on. This one and a House of CB one, like it's up there. The fit is so nice. I got this in a UK 10. It does come with the belt. So if you're worried about, you know, your waist area, you can cinch yourself in. If you're like, do I go up or do I go down? There, there is the option of the belt. Um, I feel like if I'd got the 12, it might've been a little bit too big here because it's still a tiny bit big. Now, again, I would wear this with a bodysuit underneath if I was going out in it, but I just want to share it with you guys like this. I, I love it. I am obsessed with the color. I am obsessed with the shape. The quality is incredible. I am in love with this. Like, this is so lovely. I wanna see what other colors they've got on their website. I might have to go and order this in like literally seven different colors. It feels amazing. It fits so lovely. I'm so in love with this lavender. Like, I've never ever really worn lilac before, so I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like it, but I love it, especially for spring, summer. So yeah, what am I gonna do? I'm so impressed with it. Um, I hope you can see, I'm gonna stand back here. I do apologize for the angles, guys. I'm, unfortunately, my camera's gone in for repair, so I'm having to use a different camera to film this week. Just my luck. So I know that the angles are, are not as wide as they normally are. It's because I don't have the right lens for this camera. This is it at the back. I almost prefer it without the belt. like. When I had it without the belt, I really liked it. Now obviously it has these little belt hooks, but I almost prefer it without, I don't know why, with maybe some, um, like a sparkly bag, some wedges in the evening. Oh my God, I'm definitely bringing this to Marbella for the evening. Like, I think this would look so nice on holiday. I am in love with this. I am in trouble. <laughs> help me, help me. Okay, so the last clothing item in this video is this. Now, this is not even showing up on camera how, quite how neon this is. This is neon orange. It's kind of giving me like Lycra sportswear vibes. I did get this in a 10. I feel like I should have got this in a 12 because can we just appreciate, can we just look at that? That's going to probably be a top on me. I have the ruching on both sides and I've actually got a dress from Misguided from about three years ago that I love and it has ruching on the sides and I wear it all the time. So that was what kind of made me think, oh, this could look quite nice. And I thought, why not go for a fun color, make it a bit more exciting. So we've got the <laughs> bright dress on. It's bright and it's a clubbing dress. So just bear that in mind because this is not something I'd be rocking on my family holiday. It definitely is like a clubbing with your girls in the summer dress. But I like to show you guys variety um, and I love a night out with my girls. So this is the kind of thing I would opt for. I'm not sure how forgiving it is. Like I thought it'd be so flattering with this rouge detail. I don't know, I feel like from the side I do look a little bit, you know, you can see the, you can see the bloat. You can see the little belly, the little pouch. I guess from the front it's probably quite flattering because you do have all this rouge detail. I am obsessed with the color. I actually surprisingly quite like the color. It doesn't offend me as much as it, I thought it would. I feel like I'd probably prefer it if I did go and get the size 12. Maybe I'd just feel a little bit more comfortable um, because I do feel like it is quite close to the line, particularly here, because I've got no bra on as well. So I'm not sure on a night out how comfortable I'd feel. But I do like the one shoulder idea. I know they do this dress in a few other colors. So I will link it below um, if you're interested, maybe in black, because I feel like this in black would kind of be perfect. It'd be like a classic black one shoulder dress 
I feel like that would just be better. I'm just not sure about it actually from front on. Let me know what you guys are thinking on this one. Okay guys, so that leads me on to shoes. I actually ordered two pairs of shoes, no other accessories in this video. The first ones are these. Now I ordered some like this um, two years ago. I don't think it was last year, I think it was the year before last from um misguided and the le the faux leather was so plasticky so i sent them back but these look really 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 nice i love the rope along the bottom kind of like a little adds a little bit of i wouldn't say height but it it's more comfortable for your foot like when it's not flat flat to the floor also this here is kind of like spongy and feels really comfy. I love the fact that they're white. I love the little studs on them. Definitely giving me all of the Valentino inspired vibes. But I just really love these. I don't know, I thought, I don't own a lot of sandals. I'm a bit lazy, I wear my sliders everywhere. But I did think when you're out and about in the daytime, maybe you've gone to the shops, maybe you've gone for lunch, you don't wanna just be in your sliders all the time. Maybe you want a shoe that's a bit, a bit nicer. So I really, really like these. I thought if it ever warms up in the UK, maybe I would bust these out. But they're very pretty. I think Misguided are doing these in a few colors at the minute. And I also think they're actually doing these in a wedge. The wedge looked a little bit too high for me, but the sandal looked perfect. So yeah, this is what the sandals look like. I'm really actually impressed with these shoes. They feel really good quality. And then we have another pair of shoes here. I can't remember what these are. Is that really naughty? <gasps> I remember what these are. Okay, so these are a wedge. Oh my God, these look lovely. So these are a wedge and I wasn't sure what I was gonna make of them, but they look so nice oh my god i'm really happy okay what i'm happy about is that the heel is not too high yes obviously it's still a high heel but it's not crazy like at the moment some of these wedges are coming out and they are absolutely crazy high like i could never wear them these i could definitely definitely wear the reason i picked these up was for one reason and one reason only and as you can see it's for this across the front of the shoe and winding all the way up they have this really pretty diamante design which i love this like i just feel like it goes with everything it would go with this dress it would go with the purple one a white one like any color and it also adds a little bit of glitz so if your outfit's maybe a bit basic um you can always accessorize with your shoes and stuff i just i honestly love these they looked lovely i unfortunately sold a lot of my shoes from last year at a recent car boot sale so but they were just like Honestly, guys, they're a bit tatty and I'd had them for too long. So I did sell a lot of my shoes. So I am looking for some new ones. But these look really, really nice. Um, I love the kind of... I like this wedge because it dresses the shoe down a little bit from all of the stuff that's going on on the front. These look so nice. I'm actually really excited about this. These are by a brand called Crush, which I'm assuming is obviously a brand that Misguided to purchase and then kind of sell on um, because the box wasn't a Misguided box. But I'm so excited about these. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I'm super impressed with everything I actually picked up from Misguided. Well done, Misguided. You're killing the game at the moment. I'm very, very impressed. The quality, the quality of everything was fab. And I think that's what's really important is these online retailers can get a bit of a bad name for having bad, you know, worse quality. Not at all. Everything I ordered was a 10 out of 10. I'm extremely impressed. I will drop links to all of the items that I mentioned in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you did. Let me know what items I should keep. Um, I can't keep them all, so maybe choose one item in each upload and comment it and let me know what thing I should keep. I think the lilac blazer might be a keep and maybe the lace cord. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of doing a roundup at the end of this week of everything I decided to keep. But obviously, drop me a comment below and let me know if that's something you would want. Or is it a bit repetitive? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye!